What is the third question that prospective clients or meeting planners want you to answer in order to trust you to bring you in, to have you talk to their group or to work with you one-on-one? -on -one? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In the last two videos, you heard about questions one and two that prospective clients or meeting planners are thinking, if not asking you out loud. Number one, do I like you? Number two, do you understand my pain? Once you've answered those questions, the third question that they have is, do you have the skill, the expertise to solve my pain? It's one thing to have empathy and to understand someone. It's a completely different issue to convey that you've got the skill, that you've got the expertise that they need to make their problem go away. How do you do this? Again, not a good idea to stand on stage and tell people how great you are. Some people get away with it, most don't. It, it comes across as too bragging, it's too self-centered. The way you do this is in your story, again, through dialogue, just like we did with the likability question. Do it through dialogue. In other words, have your client talk about how much they appreciate what you brought to the table. Sometimes I share a story of clients who've said to me, hey, I worked with other uh, coaches who I thought were going to help me with my presentations, and they did some good, but the level of expertise and depth that you brought has made me a much better presenter. I connect with my audiences better, and I certainly make more sales, or my idea gets across more clearly and people take action. That's just one example. Think about in your discussions with clients or audiences, past meeting planners, etc. What have they said to you that conveys that you have an expertise, that you've solved the problems that they have? Use that in your story. One of the biggest challenges for many people is this concern that I'm going to come across as I'm bragging too much, and we've addressed that here. This is where dialogue becomes such an important and powerful tool. Through your clients' voices, or the voices of people who you've spoken to in the past, talking well of you. That's a testimonial. You're no longer bragging about yourself, beating your chest, saying, look at me. You're just reporting the facts. The facts happen to be that you are an expert. You can solve a problem. And to go back to our other two uh, questions, you're someone who's likable and you understand their problem. In the fourth and final video in this mini-series, you'll hear all about the question that must be answered if people are going to do business with you or bring you in to speak to their group. I look forward to talking with you then and helping you uncover the answer to this most important question.